Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can scan laps in the Z1 Analyzer version 1.10. Scanning for laps is important because that is how the Z1 Analyzer builds its database of laps that you can then choose to open. If you don't run a lap scan, you will have nothing to open in the Z1 Analyzer. So how do you perform a lap scan? There are three ways to do this. The first is on by default. When the Z1 Analyzer starts, it will automatically run a lap scan. The second is to select Scan Laps from the File menu. And the third is to open the Select Lap dialog and then click the Rescan Laps button. So now let's take a look at the Lap Scan dialog in detail. As the scan progresses, the current SIM, car, and track that is being scanned will be displayed at the top left. And underneath that is a table containing data on all the SIMs that the Z1 Analyzer supports. You can scroll up and down this list by using the mouse wheel or the scroll bar. And each line displays the folder being scanned, the number of files found in that folder, the number of laps found, the number of laps recorded, and the number of laps skipped. Now a lap could be skipped if it is a partial lap or if it is older than the specified date range which is two months by default. You can cancel a scan at any time by clicking the Cancel button. Note that canceling a scan will not add any files to the database, even if they were scanned before you click the Cancel button. When the scan is complete, you can close the dialog by clicking the OK button. Thank you for watching, and please make sure you are running the latest version of the Z1 Analyzer.